to fly. We're going to fly through this, and uh, I've got my friends from Ingram Micro here that are going to join me as well. So we'll uh, kind of tag team back and forth uh, as we go through. So um, <clears throat> if I had one slide to show before my 30 minutes, this would be it, right? So the ThinkPad, the, the Think portfolio of products. Most of you probably sell ThinkPads. Um, I would encourage you to look at the other products that we have in the portfolio. Uh, all of our Think branded products are designed to support your services business, right? So uh, easy, well, in stock with our, with our partners, Ingram. Uh, easy to deploy, easy to manage, easy to secure, uh, designed around user productivity, right? Uh, so when you, when you offer these to customers, uh, you can be confident that they're going to, uh, you know, live up to that four to five year life cycle that they're expecting. So again, ThinkPad's our number one seller. Uh, the ThinkPad T14, we probably sell 800,000 here in the U.S. every year. Uh, call it three and a half million ThinkPads, uh, another 400,000 ThinkBooks, another um, on, the, on the Think Center side, you're looking at a uh, million, million and a half uh, a year on the Think Center side. Uh, Think Station is our workstation portfolio, is, is our tower workstations. We also have Think workstations in our ThinkPad portfolio. Um, Think Smart is our collaboration conference room solution. So we have uh, a wonderful uh, portfolio of collaboration space offerings from small huddle rooms up to larger rooms. Uh, so definitely encourage you to, to look at some of these other products in our portfolio and not just ThinkPad. I know, you know, all of you probably are selling lots of ThinkPads, right? So that's the high level, you know, for Lenovo, right? We've got, you know, we've got this wide brand of commercial offerings. Um, and so you guys want to jump up and talk about high level, uh, Ingram? Yeah, of course. Working? Hello? Okay. Awesome. So hi, everyone. My name is Alyssa Unterborn. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm on the field side for Lenovo IDG. I have a counterpart who's going to introduce himself as well. I've been on this Lenovo team for about six years, and I'm timing myself because we only have a couple minutes. And if you know me, I like to talk. So um, we're interrupting Wes's presentation to do a quick blurb about the value of Ingram Micro and how to help you sell these solutions that he's going to be talking about today. One of those ways is our booster program. So if you've been a partner of ours for the past few years, you may have heard this. It's been a developing program that is here to enable our partners to sell Lenovo and then to help you guys stay in the know about what's happening with Lenovo products and solutions. I talk very quickly, so please come visit us if any of this interests you. We have monthly lunch and learns with our partners, both on the ISG and IDG side, to keep your reps in the know about what's going on in the channel with Intel, Microsoft, um, things like that nature. We also have demos available to you guys. We know our Lenovo teams do have demos. If they're unable to get something and we have it in stock and you have an end customer opportunity, we can ship out a demo to you guys at zero cost. Next, the one I wanna highlight is MDF. At the end of the day, we know um, you need the products, you need the money to fund events, to fund lunch and learns, and we can help you guys do that. We want to partner with you guys to do that. So those are a couple of the highlights, as well as free technical support on both sides of the business. There's a lot more benefits to our booster program, but those are a couple. Secondly, what I'm really excited about, we've develop, been developing this program for about a year now, and we're going to continue developing it, is our Fast Track Incentive Program. So one of the things our partners came to us saying is this booster program is great for our overall sales, our overall company, but what about the individual sales rep? If we're, if we're proposing the Lenovo solution, how do I incentivize my reps on top of Leap? So we, take, we took a look at Leap, which is Lenovo's rewards program for our sales reps, and we developed a program of our own here at Ingram Micro. Um, so this is going to be taking our partners through education, enablement, and to really implement good selling behaviors and to teach them about that full solution. And they earn points and rewards. So once they go through the milestones, they meet with our team. So half of the battle is knowing who to go to and when and for what. We teach them how to do that. They know where to go. They earn those points and rewards along the way. This is also connected to other OEMs through Ingram Micro. Our partner rewards is a fast track program for numerous OEMs. So like a Microsoft and Intel and all those rewards go to one partner rewards program for those sellers. So we're always thinking of ways to help incentivize the company and the individual reps. And we have programs that can help you guys do that. So now, that was my two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, I'm gonna pass it over to my new counterpart, Bill Mason, to just give a little introduction. Thanks. 
Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Bill Mason. Like Alyssa just mentioned, I am a little bit newer to the team. I've been with Ingram for about three years, Lenovo for about six months. I will keep this very short and sweet. We are back in the Chrome business. I know there was a little bit of a hiatus at this time. We are back. And I also understand this is the time of year where maybe you're hearing more about those opportunities. We're able to work with them and you just work with your dedicated CSR. You can always ask us for questions. We are happy to help in any way that we can. We have a healthy stock. We have good inventory for the things that you need and just really happy to be here. So thank you. And I will pass this off to back to me. Oh, you keep, oh, hold on to that. Yeah. All right. So appreciate that. So you guys mentioned Chrome. Right. So, um, you know, we do have one and a half million units of Chrome systems available for this year's buying season. Right. So, you know, most of the purchases are being done between, you know, the May and July time frame. Uh, we got a million and a half units either in stock, in transit or to be built between now and, and end of June. Right. So uh, great supply on Chrome. No reason to be concerned about any supply uh, issues there. So trying to move on quickly here to the portfolio and the things that are uh, going to cause the buzz for 2024, right? So AIPC is the big one, right? So uh, Qualcomm announced back in September, hey, we got this great new AIPC thing coming. Uh, Microsoft has announced co-pilot after co-pilot after co-pilot, right? So there's, there's things coming with Microsoft. Uh, Intel announced back in December that they've got Meteor Lake, which is Core Ultra, which has got AI in it. Uh, AMD has AI in their Phoenix portfolio and their Hawk Point portfolio. Uh, so AIPC is going to be big. Uh, you know, the, from an IDC perspective, they're basically saying, hey, look, we've gone out and we've surveyed customers. 53% of enterprise customers say they're going to be early adopters of AIPC. Uh, now, then only S SMB is only 39 and then, you know, SLED is uh, 16, right? So that kind of makes sense, you know, from a, um, you know, who's going to be first to adopt you know, the folks who see, hey, I can get a competitive advantage, you know, by adopting AI early. And then, of course, you know, the Windows 11 refresh, uh, moving from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Customers still have a little time, right? They think, right? October of 2025 is the end of service. Um, but, hey, they got to get it done, right? You know, I get it. They didn't. They weren't all that, all that uh, pressed to do it last year, but they got to get it done, right? Because I can't really build Windows 10 up until the last day. Right. So and right now, we, you know, we're all our top sellers already moved on to Windows 11. Right. So those are the couple of things I would say, you know, the talking points to go generate uh, interest uh, out there in the marketplace. AIPC, we've got any experts on AIPC. I know Greg is an expert on AIPC. I, AIPC. I've talked to him 20 times. Uh, anybody else? All right. So, you know, what does it mean? AIPC uh, basically means, hey, we, there's this new thing in the processor called a neural processing unit, NPU. Uh, so we've always had the CPU, which is really fast. We've always had the GPU, which is for the, the graphics, the intensive things. Now we have this NPU, Neural Processing Unit, uh, that's built into the processor that's going to handle that low, uh, low power background AI you know, workloads, right? <clears throat> so right now there's two different classes of AI PC, right? There's going to be um, the things that are, it's measured in uh, trillions of operations per second or tera operations per second. Uh, so there's the, the entry class which is basically your Intel Core Ultra, your AMD Phoenix, your AMD Hawk Point that has, you know, 10 to 16 tops uh, of performance. And that's available right now. You can go buy that right now, right? We have those in stock at distribution now. More's coming, right? So this, the inventory of Meteor Lake right now is pretty low, but it's growing. Um, and then in June, Qualcomm shows up with uh, the, the, their newest uh, Snapdragon X Elite processor which is going to have 40 tops of performance, right? So that's the, the performance that Microsoft is going to tell you is needed uh, to really take off from an AI PC perspective. Uh, now, everybody's got their own ulterior motive, right? So Microsoft, Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, they're all going to tell you a different story, right? And I've got a little bit of information about that. So AI PC, it's got an NPU, right? But wait, they, all the AI is being done in the cloud today. Right. You've got PCs that you bought four, four or five years ago that's, that can do AI, but it's doing it in the cloud. Right. So why does everybody want it? Why do you want an AI PC? Well, in the future, now that the PC can do the AI, it's going to make sense for the ISV to push that workload down to the, to the laptop. Because when it's done in the server, it's costing somebody a lot of money. Right. Versus if you push it down to the laptop, it's basically free. Right. 
So that's what that's what's going to drive it. Right now, everything's being done in the cloud. You don't necessarily need it right now, but in a year, two years, three years, you're going to need it, right? Um, and then, of course, NVIDIA is going to tell you, hey, you don't need to listen to Intel and Qualcomm and AMD. We've been the leader of AI, and you just need a big, you just need a big graph, discrete graphics card, right? Uh, so everybody's got a kind of different story here, right? So the key thing, I think, for, for all of us, we're all selfish, we all want to make money, is you got to convince your customers to buy what's available right now. Right, so buy the best thing you can get right now. With, you know, a window, uh, hopefully, and a Windows 11 PC to get the security, the collaboration, uh, the productivity benefits of Windows 11. Don't wait, right? Because it's going to take a couple of years for AI PC to work out, to to kind of shake out. Right now, again, you've got Intel, you got AMD, you got you know, you've got uh, Qualcomm, you got Microsoft, you got Nvidia. Everybody's telling you a different story, right? It's going to take a couple of years for that to settle down to where the cost is reasonable uh, and there's one kind of platform, right? So don't wait, buy the best thing you can buy now, um, you know, is, is what we all want to have happen, right? And, and whether that's a, an, in, an NPU system that's available right now or a system without an NPU that you do AI in the cloud. And again, back to the, everybody's got their own ulterior motive here, right? You've got Intel and AMD saying, hey, Meteor Lake and Phoenix and Hawk Point are good enough. They got they've got an NPU, right? You got Qualcomm saying, no, 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 no. You need a 40 tops NPU, right? Microsoft probably saying, yeah, yeah, the 10 tops is okay, but the 40 tops is better, right? Uh, and then again, Nvidia saying, you know, real AI is done on the discrete card. You don't need any of this stuff, right? So, you know, your customer's going to need your help to navigate this because it is pretty confusing for now, right? So right now you know, that you've got this, these multiple tiers of processors, right? So your, uh, you know, your Meteor Lake's priced here, Qualcomm's probably gonna be a little bit higher. Then when you get to Intel's 40 tops or AMD's 40 tops in the fall, they'll be a little higher, right? Tw that'll be the same case for 2025, maybe 2026 costs come down on these high-end AI PCs. Uh, hopefully by 2027, it all kind of flattens out, right? And everything's a 40 tops PC. Um, and, you know, all the ISVs have figured out how to write their applications for the NPU. But it's going to take a little while, right? Um, all right, so um, AI PC, Windows 11. So that's, you know, the big buzz. We've got products coming. And so Ingram wants to talk about how they can help you, you know, capture that refresh opportunity. Hi, everyone. I'm Lonnie Cook, and I own the IDG business at Ingram, and I've been there about 25 years. And as a headline takeaway, we want to give you back your own leads. We have something that's been long in the works. We have great data. We have great data analytics. So what we've been planning is we look at your 2018 to 2021 sales by end user, and, and we're going to come back to you and look in our ExPanage platform, in your Renew view, um, especially our best customers, you know, all of you guys that are here, we're going to be loading these and or talk to us if you're not one of those that has, uh, you know, that's using our Expanish platform. Some of you have your own tools. So long story short, we literally have gone in, we are looking at trying to cross reference to newer systems, but because of the complexity that what Wes just outlined, we're less likely to tell you what you should buy in lieu of you know, that right now all of our customers that bought in 2018 have a hodgepodge of multiple different systems and it's not a consistent platform. So we're really excited that you will be the expert to help lead them into a unified, very strategic solution. We want to help you with those leads. We have trainings that we have ready to go that are an advantage. So if you need your sales force to understand this and we're going to make sure they're a nice little nugget well you will be able to see those on there as well so we want to help you arm your sales teams uh with leads of your own i mean if you have them all yourself even better yours are more accurate but we'll get you what you've done with us in the past and then help you close those leads talk to us who want your business and thanks to every one of you for every dollar you've ever spent at Ingram micro and my enterprise isg guy dan he wants one minute <laughs> idg training so real quick plug, I'm not going to take a lot of time. My name's Dan Eyrick. I'm uh, the field exec, essentially Alyssa's counterpart that handles the data center and infrastructure side of the house at Ingram. So just wanted to introduce myself, let you guys know, obviously we have support in place to assist with any ISG related need as well. Um, both the fast track program and booster program that Alyssa went over 
applies hand over hand to our side as well. Um, I have a technical engineer that I work side by side with. He's actually here in Raleigh. Um, if you ever need a one-on-one -on -one consult for your engineering team for maybe a, an end user opportunity that you wanna pull in somebody technical, cause I'm not him, um, I can make that arrangement. And then we also have two um, system design specialists. So if you come across opportunities, you need help with the actual build and the design uh, within like the DCSC tool that Lenovo has, we can pull those guys in with your customer on the phone. They can go through the custom configs for you. So we have those support services available. They're free to our partners to leverage uh, those resources. So just wanted to kind of let you know that, that we're available to help and um, we'll be at the booth if you want to stop by. So hand back over to Wesley. Thanks. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. All right, so there's no way I can get through every single thing we sell, right? So I'm going to try to hit like three or four big bullet points for each uh, brand here. So for think for the commercial notebook, right? So think ThinkPad, ThinkBook, uh, the Lenovo branded products, you know, I would say the key, the key points here, right? Education buying season is upon us. We're going to have great supply, right? There's no reason to be concerned, right? So we got a million, million and a half units available for the buying season. The, the, we're right in the middle of the Intel transition from Raptor Lake 13th gen to Core Ultra, uh, Meteor Lake, right? So that we're right in the middle of it. We have some stock at distribution now uh, of the, uh, mostly the ThinkBooks on the new products. And then, you know, the distributors, we've got probably X1 Carbon, X1 Yoga, our premium line is in transit to the distributors. And then uh, T14, T16, they're ordering like this week, right? So they should show up in a couple of weeks. Uh, again, all of those Meteor Lake products have a 10 plus tops neural processing unit, AI accelerator. We would call those hardware AI PCs, hardware enabled AI PCs. And that's what IDC would call them. And they have the co-pilot button on them if you're talking to the Microsoft folks, right? So uh, in between the, <clears throat> the alt key and the control key here is a new key, the co-pilot key, right? Uh, so that's part of you know, Microsoft's AI PC push. Uh, the AMD transition, right? The little messier, right? We've got, uh, basically three different classes of AMD processors uh, in market at the same time, which is strange. And, and hopefully that will, you know, flush out over time. But on the entry side, we've got um, Rembrandt refresh uh, on the AMD side coming in on some of our products like T14S, X13, um, T16. We're not transitioning at all this year because we, we only launched them back in October. Right, so those products stay on Phoenix and the R7 with Phoenix. So the R7 7840 has a 10 tops NPU, so it's an AI PC. Uh, and then the T14 transitions to Hawkpoint, uh, which is the 8840. Um, and again, that R7 on the Hawkpoint as well has an AI accelerator, so it's an AI PC. Um, and so that one, you know, again, transition should be done by the you know, end of August, early September. Uh, Qualcomm, so, you know, big AI PC push this year. Microsoft's got some big announcement on May 20th, right? They got some big event, right? So I'm sure they're going to tell you guys all about that. Uh, so at, at that event, you're going to see everybody announcing Qualcomm devices, right? So you'll see Lenovo, Dell, HP, Asus, Acer. Everyone's going to announce Qualcomm Windows devices at that event, right? And so we'll be there with the ThinkPad T14S with Qualcomm. Um, and we'll start shipping that in June. And then with uh, ThinkBook 16 with Qualcomm, we'll start shipping in September, right? So Qualcomm has a great story this year, right? So they have i7 class performance. They have, um, you know, mid-range NVIDIA discrete class uh, graphics. Uh, they've got tremendous battery life, 31 hours of video playback, right? So it's literally two days of you and I doing our normal email, PowerPoint, Excel, right? Um, so they do have a really great story this year and they've got a six month lead over Intel and AMD on that, that 40 tops AI PC, right? So, um, it's something we would like, you know, to have customers evaluate, right? We'd like to have customers try it, test it out. Um, and, and unlike in the past, I think they, you know, there's a really good chance here that customers are going to love it, right? The battery life, if a customer cares about battery life, this is a phenomenal product. All right, and then um, you know, coach your customers to buy now. Don't wait for AI PC Nirvana because it's going to take two years, three years to get here. Right? Uh, on the Think Center side, uh, so on the Think Center side, you know, we're doing awesome with the Think Center Tiny. Uh, so we we were the first to market, you know, years ago. 
you know, with that small, tiny form factor. And we're still, that's still our number one seller. The M70Q, Tom and I were talking about earlier, the M70Q is our number one seller. Uh, and we do great with that. And then using the tiny in one displays, 22 inch, 24 inch, 27 inch, tiny in one, where the tiny desktop just slides right into the tiny display and no cables, right? And so you turn it into your own all in one, right? So one of the challenges with all in ones is they're big, they're heavy. You got to ship them via ocean versus, hey, build your own, and, and you have unlimited configuration capability, right? Um, and so the Intel transition here on the desktop side, we're transitioning from 13th gen Raptor Lake to 14th gen Raptor Lake refresh. So that is different, right? On the notebook, it's not 14th gen, right? Notebook is core ultra. On desktop, it's 14th gen, right? So the transition there. Uh, small form factor towers this quarter, tiny will start in July on AMD, so there is no NPU, right? There is no AIPC on the Intel desktop yet, right? So that doesn't happen this year on the desktop side, which is weird, right? You know, strange. Uh, AMD, the transition is a little bit behind. Uh, you know, we're gonna go from Cezanne to Phoenix. Um, the Phoenix does have an NPU, right? So AMD is gonna have AIPC on their desktops when Intel isn't. So. Um, you know, AMD is probably 20 to 25% mix for us for desktop. So it's something you might want to look at if you don't sell AMD today is they do have the AI PC capability. Uh, so small form factor in June and then tiny in July timeframe. Um, you know, we do have Chrome offerings in our, in our desktop portfolio. So we have a tiny, the M60Q Chrome box. Uh, the market sells, so in North America, the market sells about 20,000 a quarter of Chrome desktop, right? And then most of it's Asus and Acer, right? And I'd love to, you know, get a chunk of that with the M60Q Chrome box. Uh, all of those enterprise features that you expect from a Think, uh, Think Anything product would be in that M60Q Chrome box. And then the Chrome box micro, which is slightly bigger than your cell phone. I, I didn't bring one, I should have brought one down. Slightly bigger than a cell phone. Chrome box micro is a great uh, digital signage solution, right? You can mount it right to the back of a display and run your digital signage using Chrome OS and their Chrome um, kiosk console, right? All right, workstation, every customer has um, users who are power users, right? That they're making the company money, they should be using a workstation, right? Whether that's a ThinkPad P-Series or a ThinkStation Tower. Um, we're transitioning pretty slow this year. The, the NVIDIA graphics isn't really changing this year, right? So uh, the processors are changing, but you know, hey, when you're buying a workstation, it's really about the NVIDIA graphics, right? So if the NVIDIA graphics isn't changing, you know, there's not a, there's not a people aren't banging on your door to transition, right? So we're transitioning pretty slow on both the, the notebook and the desktop uh, on the workstation side. Um, notebook is a little different because, you know, they, they, they kind of tie into my stuff, right, on, on the ThinkPad side. Uh, so that one will probably be done by the end of September on the notebooks. Desktops, you know, we'll probably just keep selling the, the last year's models, you know, throughout the year, right? If customer wants the new one, they'll be there. Uh, but really stocking wise, we'll probably continue stocking, the, you know, the, the previous 13th gen models. We do have a new uh, P8 coming. It's ready, to, ready now with the AMD Threadripper. We, we were first to market. Uh, in workstation with the P620 with AMD Threadripper. Now we've got the latest and greatest, uh, so we can continue the momentum there. Uh, the ThinkPad P14S this year is a brand new, we call clean sheet. We've redesigned it from the bottom up. And historically, T14S with integrated graphics and a P14S with NVIDIA graphics were the same product. The only thing different was it had NVIDIA card in it. This year, we decided, hey, look, we're gonna break that. We're gonna break it apart because we need a little bit more um, thermal you know, design, you know, a little, little bigger thermal design to handle the extra power, right? So now you're gonna get a more powerful P14S than in the past, because we're gonna be able to, to run the processor at higher speeds. We got the, the, uh, the thermals to do that. And it's gonna be a 14 and a half inch, right? So from a, from a design perspective, a lot of customers were kind of disappointed that we moved from 15.6, with a P15 to a 16 inch when we went to the 16 by 10 panels. Uh, so, you know, the 14 and a half will be a good choice for customers who maybe, hey, 16 is really big. Maybe, you know, maybe 14 and a half is a better choice.
And then ask your channel account managers about the Workstation Elite incentive program, right? So if you're selling a lot of workstations, you want to make sure you're part of that program. All right, the collaboration for we're probably run out of time. If you guys need to get up and leave, you know, just take off, but I'm just going to keep talking. Uh, so the collaboration portfolio, uh, so we have a, you know, robust portfolio of products available for, uh, you know, the room spaces, right? So whether that's an all-in-one with our Think Smart Hub or a, a room kit where you can kind of design your own, right? So we have a great portfolio there. I encourage you to check it out. Uh, and then I think finally here, visual services, accessories, um, you know, from a services standpoint, our focus this year is around the uh, Premier Support Plus. Uh, so if you talk to our services team, they would tell you that's their number one priority is Premier Support Plus. And on the monitor side, the P24Q uh, is, a, is, is something that we would recommend from a really high, uh, high color gamut, high quality display. Definitely if you're, if you're selling workstations, that would be the recommendation there. Uh, the T24i, the number three on the list, is probably our, our top selling product, but the P24 being much higher, uh, higher performance, higher uh, color gamut there. And then on the accessories, obviously everybody's using docks, everybody's using carrying cases. Uh, we've got a great portfolio there. We would say our Thunderbolt, universal Thunderbolt 4 dock would be the number one priority for us there. All right, so I think that's all the slides that I had. What questions you got? I'm sure you got some questions. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints? Yes, sir. Um, so previously, if, if I said that, I may have said that wrong. So previously, it was T14 and P14S were the same chassis, right? And which, which meant the P14S couldn't be as powerful as it should be. Right, because because the thinness, right, and and the thermals, the the fans. Uh, so now making it 14 and a half, making it a little bit wider, we're able to put more fan, you know, more uh, powerful fans in there. So now you're going to get a more powerful P14s now that they're split. So I, I I must have said that wrong. Yep. Thanks. All right. Any other questions, comments, concerns? What are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? How can we help? 500W Gen 4, uh, we will get a refresh for next for the 2025 buying season, um, which will be Twin Lakes, Intel Twin Lakes. So this year it's Intel Alder Lake N. So I think next year it becomes uh, Twin Lakes. Um, it'll be probably February ship support. February 2025, so that we can get them loaded and, you know, get them built and for the buying season starting in April, May. Yeah. So you got another good year of the uh, 500W G4. Yeah. Good question. All right. Any others? All righty. Well, I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you.